Sustainability. The word's being used more and more in government and in business. But what is sustainability and why is it significant? Something that is sustainable meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. So the environmental and societal toll of things like leisure activities or water use or clothing should not be so wasteful that it prevents future generations from having the resources for those same luxuries. Now this definition here was defined by the United Nations World Commission on the Environment and Development. It's based on the idea that resources are finite, meaning that there's only so much of a resource. Since world population is ever increasing, this means that more people will have to live off of the same amount of resources. That means we have to be more efficient, or in other words, more sustainable. The UN realized that becoming more efficient would apply to each nation differently. For wealthy nations, this means adjusting current fossil fuel practices to more sustainable alternatives. Developing nations, they'll have to avoid the mistakes of the past, using sustainable solutions to increase wealth instead. In the end, sustainable development saves resources, allowing more people to be lifted out of poverty. Sustainability has three foundational pillars – social, economic, and environmental. All three of these must be considered to create a truly sustainable solution. The social pillar considers things like working conditions and wars or cultural tensions. Basically, it weighs if the solution is humane and avoids generating other human-based issues. The economic pillar involves workers' wages and an entity's financial stability. It deals with the money aspect. The environmental pillar takes into account the solution's toll on resources, ecosystems, and production of waste, ensuring that the world can keep on giving so that the solution remains effective. Together, these are the three pillars of sustainability, and it's based on the interconnections between every resource, every person, and every problem. Ignoring a pillar will increase the stress on the others. For example, if the economic pillar is disregarded, more stress will be placed on people to cut costs, which often results in less eco-friendly practices. If the social pillar is ignored, quality of life may plummet, and conflicts could arise. War, for example, can be detrimental to both the economy and the environment. In the same manner, if the environmental pillar is ignored, all other aspects won't be able to function. Like increased pollution decreases public health, and lack of resources skyrockets prices. So, the world's problems can be thought of as a knot. Tugging on one loop might reduce the stress in that particular area, but as that loop is loosening, another may be tightening. To actually unravel the knot, all of its loops must be examined and considered. So sustainability, it's a balancing act. Considering all of its aspects at once can be overwhelming, and valid, sustainable solutions take time. It's why more and more departments and committees are being erected to specifically deal with this task. But at its core, sustainable solutions are about securing the future, which will keep humanity operating and the world going round.